Move now to the nightside crime watch. Several car owners in northwest Spokane have something in common they'd rather not have. Shattered windows which appear to have been shot out with a BB or pellet gun. Some have posted photos of the damage to a crime prevention Facebook page. It's unclear if the same person is responsible. But several drivers are now left with an expensive repair. New on Nightside, Kyle Simchuk spoke to one woman whose car was shot over the weekend. And Kyle, another woman on Facebook, claims she was shot at while driving. Well, yeah, Aaron, and all of these incidents have been happening in northwest Spokane. The photos shared on social media all look pretty similar. And it's a horrible way for somebody to go, you know, have fun, to go and destroy other people's property. Natasha Thompson didn't notice the damage at first. The car was all frosted over, and so all the windows were still a little bit, it had that frost to them, so you couldn't tell. But her daughter did while dropping her off at work. She was like, Mom, <laughs> she, you got a hole in your window. It's a small hole, probably a BB or a pellet, but it's still a little disturbing to have somebody shoot at your property. That tiny hole is now costing her hundreds of dollars. The whole window has to be replaced. It's, it's, the hole's right in the, almost in the center, but the whole window is just spider webbed out. Thompson was surprised to learn she wasn't the only car hit over the weekend in northwest Spokane. Another little gal had her car window shot out too, same night, and apparently it looked like there's a couple others too, all on this north side. Pam Silva shared this video with KXLY. She says her neighbor's car was hit near Shannon and Walnut. She believes her camera picked up some of those shots. We reached out to two other drivers who posted on a community watch group. One woman says her window was shot out while she was driving. Thompson's car wasn't broken into. She thinks whoever pulled the trigger was doing it for fun at the expense of her family. We work and we have bills to pay and, you know, so does a lot of other people. And it's just really upsetting to know that you have to take time out of your day or take time off work to go replace something that somebody else has damaged. Her message for this window smasher? Please don't do it again. <laughs> you know, it's there's other ways to, to have fun, honestly. And Thompson did not file a police report, but after seeing other posts online, she's planning to call police tomorrow. SPD says you should always report property crimes, no matter how small. If police notice a trend, they can and will shift patrols. Aaron. Good advice. Thank you, Kyle.